I'm Mono. Oh, well, hello there. This is Oscar. And we like to rank the music videos, but not just for fun. It's because we have a, a very definitive mission, and that is what, Oscar? To count down the top 100 music videos of all time. And you're right. It's not fun. It's work. And with an E. And the most important part of the work comes in where you vote on which one of the music videos actually gets to be in the top 100. That's right. Welcome to Podcast Kill the Video Star. Mono's here. Oscar's here. We <laughs> got a doll. We got a doll got... for your nerves oh, today. So sh oh, because we worship the doll. We worship the dolls. Because we worship the dolls. This doll's comedian actress, mm -hmm. uh, writer, singer, dancer. I mean, she does it all. Yes. She does it all. Yes. We Listen, love her. I'm the Bratz doll. Mono is like the Monster High doll. <laughs> and we brought in the motherfucking Borby, okay? Oh, my the God. The motherfucking Malibu Borby to the podcast, uh, okay? This is a, I mean, she's a Barbie girl in a Barbie world. Actually, she's Broadway Barbie. <laughs> Wouldn't you say? She's very Broadway Barbie. She's Broadway Barbie. Like, she's a she's a, a, a pull and speak Barbie. You know what That's I'm saying? That's right. That's that right. That part. And when you pull it, it's that note from Wicked. Uh, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's that note. <laughs> and the only thing I want, I, I want this intro to keep going so that it never ends. <laughs> and it becomes the longest intro in podcast history. Uh, we have Tim Murray! <laughs> uh, 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 there it is! in my boots for some reason my broadway barbie Come when you pull on, it disney it's, fish it's woody yeah <laughs> well, it's just a repurposed woody fish. doll actually <laughs> they put the voice of woody inside my broadway barbie hi tim thanks for having it. me queens hi. hi oh my god it's gonna be a kiki tonight okay i'm so excited to be here you both know when you first started doing this pod i was like hell yes i love a good music love. video yeah, we love. I mean, you're pop culture upset. Like you're gay. I and I know this is like a, a cliche, but like if you're gay, you should be pop culture Absolutely. obsessed, right? Abs I think so. I'm thinking yes, but funnily wait. So enough, like, why? So. Why is that? Why do you think that is? Because you didn't have any friends growing up. <laughs> because you were gay. drag us. Drag I us. like this. No, it's because like you're like you know you're on the outside of pop culture, but you're like also trying to find your way in, or you're trying to like understand where you belong in the world. Yes, Is that, that it definitely. Yeah. And like when you think about it, like we didn't have traditionally, uh, like not everybody, but a lot of gay people don't like do sports or like have like the thing that. And you're looking at the world like, okay, everybody, these people have families and white picket fences and they stay in this town and you are mm -hmm. looking for that, uh, that, uh, that more mm -hmm. glamorous life, the other mm -hmm. stuff yeah. that yeah. you, and for me, I was really, cause I didn't have friends. I would like in the summer, I would like sit and watch the VH1 top 100 music video countdown. Ooh, I wasn't girl. going mm -hmm. to summer camp. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Yeah. Music Madonna. video summer camp. summer camp. Yeah, yeah. absolutely. Yeah. I, I don't I don't do camp. Wait, I, I never went to a camp once. Did anyone go to a camp here? Not never. once. No, I, I wasn't. We God. weren't allowed. We weren't allowed. We weren't allowed. Mm -mm. No, it's so stupid. Camp is nasty. I don't get it. It's just like I mean, like I know we all hate our children, but is there anything more transparent? Than, like, <laughs> I like like CPS gets called on moms who like don't like give their children enough food. But what about moms who send their kids to camp every summer? Oh, yeah. Truly, that's dark. What about moms who send their kids to camp and then when the kid is there, they discover they have a twin who lives in London? Okay. <laughs> Not the parent trap plot. <laughs> it is me, <laughs> British Lindsay Lohan. Do you um, like peanut butter on your Oreos too? <laughs> <laughs> we must be identical. <laughs> Wait, whose British accent is more suspicious, <laughs> Vanessa Hudgens or Ooh, Lindsay Lohan? Vanessa, Vanessa in Hudgens. Uh, what's, that, what's the movie that she? What, what's the, the Princess the, Switch? The Princess Switch. God, that accent. That trilogy, Mama. No way. Yeah, no way. It's bad. Unacceptable. But Oscar, that's not what this podcast is about, is it? Wait, it isn't. No, I think it's not. I think we're supposed to talk about music videos oh, yeah, and yeah, shit. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Wait, wait. So back on track, Tim, you're obsessed with music video. You watched AJ Hammer count down the top 100 music videos 
of that year at VH1. Don't think I don't know all the VJs at VH1, honey. Okay? <laughs> Why no, music videos? I, What's I your to connection? Fuck him, I think. Yeah, he was cute. No, yeah. I never and met Canadian. a VJ I didn't want to fuck. Wow. <laughs> they were hot, Including hot, Jesse hot. Camp? Ah, Jesse Camp! Well, I don't remember Jesse Camp. I know, Camp, I'm get I'm sure, it. I'm, yes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He's the one who won, who wants to be, be a VJ. VJ. The very like first, first one. The blonde guy. Well, um, no, he was like scratchy. He was like the gutter B. You know, Dave Holmes know came mean. in second place. Jesse I'm not Camp saying Jesse Camp's not attractive. I think that's that's a type for a lot of people. Wasn't he the one? I remember. I this is a memory. I haven't watched it since. But this is a memory. I remember this line from watching it. They were like, "What um art? What like musical artist should be president?" Mm-hmm. And the girl was like, "I think Will Smith is like really down to earth and cool." And he said, "None of them should be president. They're not qualified." <laughs> and everyone was like, ah! yeah! <laughs> "He's a genius." He was like a like a the voice of a genius. He was like a little secret <laughs> genius, you know, where you're like, mm-hmm. Yeah, yeah. Okay, work. Okay, we love music videos. And in case you, this is your first time listening, we you this isn't just for y'all. This is a this is a community effort. And literally, right. we should explain to them it how it works. Village. It takes a village. Because every week we do what? We watch three music videos. And then what happens, Oscar? Listen, we post stills of these music that videos part. on Instagram. Then you as the viewer on YouTube or listener, wherever you listen to your podcast, will vote. For one, two, or three, if you want to cancel your vote, of your favorite music videos, the one with the highest votes moves on to the top 100 music video list of all time, where we rearrange and arrange and dearrange in episodes we call the ranking. Mm-hmm. We've already got 50 of them down pat. We're looking for 50 looking more. Looking for 50 more. Girl, we're halfway done. Is that it's crazy? really goofy. Um, it's really goofy. And in case you're like, holy shit, my video needs to be on this list, you can get it on the list in a couple of ways, one of which being throw coins at us because in the podcast description, there's a little link right there, whether you're watching or listening, throw coins at us, and we have to watch your music video. And listen, listen, listen. I know times are tough. I know money's tight. So what you do, if you don't have the funds, you go on Apple Podcasts, give us a five-star review, and in that review, you drop your favorite music That's it. video. We'll heavily consider Yes, it. heavily. 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 And uh, we, we're considering Tim Murray's pick right now. I actually don't know what it is yet, but I'm excited. Is there anything we need to ask Tim? Oh, yes, yes, yes. Introduce this video for us, is Tim it time Murray. To introduce the video. I think it is. It is. Talk to us. Okay. So I was very excited to come on. And when Mono told me I had to pick a video, I said, okay, I take assignments very seriously, <laughs> honey. So I, I really debated and I sat my gay boyfriend down who, as you were saying, like <laughs> all gay people know pop mm-hmm. culture. He doesn't. He <gasps> was like, he was a ballet dancer always growing mm-hmm. up. So he like, okay. he went to school, he went to ballet, he did homework, he went to sleep. He had friends. So he, <laughs> he had friends. So, you know, skinny white ballet girls, sure. but still friends <laughs> sure. who didn't know much about pop uh-huh. culture. So we we were, I was like, I want to show you a bunch of music videos and you help me which pick which one to do. And he was like, okay, then I want to show you some. And I was like, sweetie, no, you, you cannot show me white horses by Vanessa Carlton for an eighth time. I'm going to flip this table. Let me introduce you to some. And so we watched a lot of music videos last night and had to land on the iconic oh. oh oops i did it again <coughs> are you vomiting? Oh, i'm sorry wait are you are you vomiting or are you gagging i'm gagging or i have covid i don't know <laughs> Ooh. Ooh. oops I- we have to do this video yes. the thing is I I watched there's so many I watched Torn by Natalie Imbruglia mm-hmm. which I, I don't know if you guys have done that one already we have not we have not it's so it's so iconic and i watched like several others that I'll get that I'll get into but at the end of the day this video really I know it's gonna win oh <laughs> so I like I that I like that you're coming in with the right mindset of like I want to win you you played to win you didn't come here that. to make friends I played to win you know and I love that this Mm-mm. isn't podcast best Mm-mm. friend race um <laughs> I love that for us okay um oh I'm excited okay what else do we need to say like this is iconic I guess we can talk about it as we watch it right yes some things that I think are fierce Please. to note that I was looking up about uh-huh. this vid. 
The director of this music video also did Baby One More Time, Sometimes, <gasps> and Drive Me Crazy. Wow. So he, okay, he didn't do from the, from the Bottom of My Broken Heart, the one in between. <laughs> yeah, I remember <laughs> that. Yes. <laughs> She's it's like so on weird. A porch. And that's like the whole thing. Singing in a range that might but not he be did hers. Not Oops. maybe not quite for the for the young lads. No, <laughs> but star. The thing about it is, when you think about all her music videos, those four have iconic Britney looks, mm. and he mm. never works with her again after this video. But it's interesting to me that he this this director was a look queen. Ooh. He was like red bodysuit. This is. This is what we're uh, doing. So I thought that was kind of fierce. Also, the choreographer uh, was one of Janet Jackson's dancers and then choreographed two of Janet Jackson's tours. Oh, Tina hot. Lincoln. Yeah. She's, she's everything. I love. Oh, these are good. She's everything. These, I mean, this is just tops. You know what I mean? This is when Britney was uh, just at the top of, I mean, she's had a lot of tops, but I'm just like, Look, this is her sophomore album, right? And I think Britney really proves she debunks the sophomore curse, right? Right. And she I assume the, the fir- her first single in the in her second. Yes. Yes. Not right? only her second first single. Oh, yeah. This is the first single of, of the second album. It was such a big I remember deal. It. She exploded so quickly with that first album. I remember that this video, the making of the video, which I rewatched this morning, the MTV making the video, was the first time. I remember time it well. Any of us were seeing the video and hearing the song. So the song was not released yet. Like that single wasn't out yet. The album wasn't, oops, I did it again. The album wasn't out yet. They were like, we're releasing the video. So I set my alarm to, for like, I went to bed at like 9 p.m., set my alarm for 10 p.m. so I could watch them making the video and like uh-huh. see it for the first time. I was like, <gasps> Amazing. I am really excited. I've seen this video countless times, but I'm excited to see it with y'all. Okay, I'm I'm in. Let's do it. Let's watch this video, babes. I'm pumped. I'm pumped. Okay, we're all queued up to the beginning. We're watching on our devices. Are we ready to do a three, two, one play? Yes. Tim, are you ready? uh, uh, My little ad is is still playing. I'm so sorry. Okay, after the the ad. So I will just Rude. add, I will add during this ad, this video is Britney's idea as well. She oh, pitched really? it. She pitched it to this director. She'd worked with him several times. She said, this time, baby, I want to be on Mars. She said, I'm about to do it again. <laughs> okay, I'm ready when you guys are. <laughs> okay, let's go. Three, two, one, play. Bebo bop. <laughs> Entering Mars orbit. <laughs> the Matrix. <laughs> A skit! That's a fantasy. We got a skit. So she wanted to do an, a, a space intergalactic Judy Jetson hooker. Specifically video. Mars, yeah. Which Specifically Mars. Which is, yeah. honestly, this is a perfect music video. Like, don't make it too complicated. Yeah. She just no. was like, I just have a snapshot of an idea. Mars. <laughs> yeah. And okay, like, so he found a fossil of her CD. Oops, I did it again. That's correct, Oscar. I mean, this is beautifully shot. This is blockbuster movie This is shit. budget, honey. But she got budget. I mean, this is one of the best produced songs, I think. Yes, with a little wet lip. Okay, the, Brit. Oh, my God. With a suit. That suit. So, they, they How have we not covered like, this video? This is insane to me. Isn't it so well, wild? We, it's iconic. Well, we because we talked about doing a Britney month. I know, but it's time. Also, it's just time to do, we just have to pepper in Britney. Such a snapshot of the year 2000. Like Absolutely. Yes. yes. She looks different here than she did at Baby One More Time 2 years earlier. Like yes. the makeup is 2000. Yep. The makeup is Lizzie McGuire uh, adjacent. Uh-huh. It's like sleek. Yeah. The extensions, the lip gloss that you referenced, like it's And she's a She's a star. You were saying this, Tim. She really is a star. She is a the definition Choreo. of a star. She is like Marilyn Monroe level star. Like you look at her yes. and you're like, whoa, something. I'm intrigued, but just just by the way you smile, that is a star. Yes. So hold on. Yes. <laughs> I love. <laughs> I love Britney in this iconic red like bodysuit. 
And then uh, black sneakers? <laughs> <laughs> I know, I didn't clock the sneakers. <laughs> do not come for it's her. Very Don't do this. Me. No, Money. listen, she got to move, bitch. She ain't, she ain't dancing with heels on. Well, that's I the mean, thing. Brittany really dances. Like, she, uh, people love to call her untalented. Yes. And this woman so. can can really dance with her dancers. Absolutely. Yes. I mean, look at what she's doing, these aerial shots. I mean, this overhead aerial shot is an iconic Brittany moment it's forever. It's so good. Didn't a camera her fall hair. on her while doing that shot? <gasps> is that true? Yes. I think a camera fell on what? her and she, like, got a concussion. Holy crap. What? They skip yeah. over that in making the video. There is a moment in making the video, though, where they're like, we can't do that shot tonight. We have right. to do it tomorrow. Because I guess that must a camera Holy shit. Yeah. That's crazy. You're right. The sneakers are weird. <laughs> Well, the sneakers are very dance. funny. It's very 2000s, very Skechers. It's the, the S. Oh, it's the S? S. Yes, it's, it's the, the S, S for me. Beautiful. The Titanic. But I thought the old lady dropped it in the ocean in the years. <laughs> well, baby, I went down and got it. <laughs> that you is so have. fierce. Oh, you shouldn't have. I'm a woman and I will fuck as many men as I want. Thanks for the ring. And also, that skit is in the song. It's not just in no, the video. No, no, it's, it's in, in the, the song. song. It's in the song. My question is, <laughs> she's a Martian, and it's in the future, apparently, because Oops, I Did It Again came out in the past, I, I assume. She uh -huh. knows about Titanic. How did this astronaut the find the heart of the ocean to go to Mars to give it to her? Because what you're forgetting, get what you're forgetting is that Britney is also godlike. So she can do what she wants. Oh, she, she knows. She's back real. in the future oh, and in the past. Yeah. <laughs> yes. <laughs> I mean, this is this the best Britney Spears song? No. no. Baby One More Time no. is the best Britney Spears song. No. But I okay. this is high up. I, I don't know. I don't know. I really love Toxic. I, I you know. Wow. Toxic is really good. Toxic but, fan. but to have a nod in this song to your original song... In Baby One More yeah. Time, she says, um, uh, I'm so innocent or whatever. And this one to say, I'm not that innocent in the refrain is like, okay. And now she's giving mm -hmm. us career arc. It's like, a statement Baba. piece yes. is what it is. Yes. It's a statement yeah. piece, isn't it? And this is after it's... like she, the, all the, everyone being like, oh, you got a breast implants and you're slight. Right, that whole thing. And she's like, leave me alone. <laughs> Right, the right. whole make my boobies one more size controversy. Do you guys remember these parody songs of Britney's that were floating around Napster in the in the, in the early aughts? Oh yeah, there were two parody songs. One was called Make My Boobies One More Size. The other one was They Grew Like Crazy. You can <laughs> e I'll send them to you on YouTube. They're easily findable. They're just the most anti-woman horrible parody of course, songs. But you know, we hated women back then, you know. We hated women, <laughs> and time. I don't like that. Big time. Awful. Um, okay, wow. <laughs> whoa, How do we unpack whoa, whoa. Okay, this? okay. For, well, you know, you're going to have to do a lot of the unpacking, Mono, because what is this video about? What just happened? What did we just see? I will try to unpack the fantasy of Britney Jean Spears' is, 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 is mind. Um, but I would say this is the story. Oh, God, you're right. What is the time? What in the Spider-Man No Way Home broken time universe is happening here? But I'm going to say this is the story of... A girl named a Lucky. Girl named a girl named Lucky. Lucky. <laughs> <laughs> it, might it might be the I'm very same. It might be the very same in the say, future. This is the story of Lucky. This actually, this is this is after Lucky's a star. They send her into space. She She's lives literally forever. A star. Yeah. Mm -hmm. She's literally a star. The astronauts try to go find her, They're, and and they discover her, and they realize it's too powerful. It's like she's like the <laughs> ring. You know what I mean? She's like the you know the ring to Mordor. She's too powerful, and even though the astronaut is supposed to retrieve her and bring her home, he's like, I'm in love with her, and they're like, No, you're the mission. That's what this music video is about. Oh, so mission failed. He just stays in Mars forever. Yes, mission wow, failed. He, wow. It's it's it, it, there's a drop of um, there's a drop of uh that movie with Natalie Portman, The Shimmer. He's kind of trapped in the Britney. <laughs> Annihilation. <Spears> yes. <laughs> <laughs> He's trapped. He was supposed to come oh home with her, God. and he just was like, <laughs> "I'm gonna stay here and do moonwalking on Mars." Which, no, we don't moonwalk on Mars, baby. 
That's 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 because on Mars that's appropriating. That's not cute. <laughs> Um, what, uh, what, Tim, what is the lay you for you? Yeah, what's the iconic moment in Oops, I Did It Again? The iconic moment is the astronaut thing. Like, the astronaut dialogue is like, I was teaching improv to teenagers recently, and Work. we play this game where someone has to, like, walk outside the room, and then they come back in as a character, and they don't know who they are, and we have to ask them questions. And we made them the astronaut from the oops i did it again video and these kids who were not alive when this music video came out everybody knew who we were talking about shut up yeah that's iconic yep. baby that's iconic the astronaut shut from up. the oops i did it again video it's it, the iconic moment is britney acting in, in this video yeah. actually yes the oh i shouldn't have is iconic that and that is. talk about star quality like she literally mm-hmm. she's doing so little but so much in that moment. It's so like, yeah. wow, that is a powerful person. Yeah. Uh, oh, you should. Okay, know. actually, wait. We're going to talk a little bit more about this because our this is just too important. But first, we got to take a break, right, Ozzy? Yes, let's take a break. Okay, okay. See you in a sec. Ooh! Oh, we're back, we're we back. We are back. We needed a little break from Oops, I Did It Again. That was a lot. It was very gaggy. <sighs> It was just, it spills over. Uh, uh, the Britney spills over. Mm-hmm. She's too influential. So we have to keep talking about it a little bit. And I need to know, Oscar, what's the lay you for you? Oh, oh, the lay you for me. Uh, I mean, you know I love a skit. Uh, I do like that weird, deranged, completely unhinged moment where she takes the helmet off the astronaut and his head blows up. And then <laughs> <laughs> it sort of inflates and deflates again. I'm like... <laughs> it's it's a blanket and you'll miss it moment but to me that's all i see in the music video yeah it's camp is what yeah. it is it brings a level of camp to the to the music video that could be oscar bait level you know it, i mean the way it opens with that production quality yeah i'll uh i'll go ahead and say i think the lady for me is the choreo because mm. it is one of those moments in fag herstory that that choreo is so pervasive that it can even blind a gay man like it can blind a gay man's sense of logic and force him like almost make him jump on stage when a drag queen is performing to so people knows he he knows the choreography do you know what i'm saying like absolutely it's, the choreography is too powerful you're and so i don't know right. why you're so right and i think i need to take mine back and i think i need to agree with you now that you say that oh. because it's not the astronaut. It's it's this moment. Listener at home, I'm doing... Yeah, I am the heart box. The heart box. No, no, no. Box That's for YouTube. Up. Don't tell them. Oh, sorry. <laughs> go, go to YouTube. Go to YouTube, bitch, if you, if you really want to know what I did. But that, yeah, that all... is like every sixth grader when this came out was doing that down the hallway at school. We still do it to this day. <laughs> mm-hmm. Corky Romano or whatever his name is made fun of it on Saturday Night Live. Remember that sketch? They were like, oops, yeah. I did it again. I played with your heart. And they were um, like playing video games. Did you they say did, like, Corky Ooh, Romano? Ca- yes, you meant, yes, Chris Catan. <laughs> But I love that I love that Corky Romano is, you know, that's what he's known for. You know, his... it's one and the same, honestly. <laughs> that was Oscar bait. Corky <laughs> Romano. <laughs> Do you want some Girl Scout cookies? <laughs> oh yeah, we all cookies. remember. <laughs> I mean, it's a shame because like they, that trailer hinged on that moment because they knew <laughs> it's the only moment was they the had. Moment. Yeah, but you know what? Yeah. It's, it's a good moment. It's a good it's moment. A it's moment. the lay you moment. of Corky Romano. Absolutely, it's, it's the lay you. <laughs> but you also, know, I gotta say, Oscar. Yeah, you go ahead. You go no, ahead. no, no, you go. I I was gonna say your Oscar bait moment. I love when his head blows up because it's, the other video I was considering to show you guys, but I wasn't sure if you had done it already. Uh, Celine Dion, it's all coming back to me now. Yes, mm. yes, yes, yes. Yeah. You dramatic. did that? We did do it. Dr- yes. Did we? We did, yes. yes. Same. The, the mansion yes. and all that. that. When the guy, he explodes on oh the my motorcycle. God, he, yes. <laughs> oh, yeah. Same director. Oh, yeah. Same the director. Who directed this music video directed it's all okay. coming back to me now. Okay. Yes. Which is such the a good director of simply too much. Okay. He does too much that, in his video. And we too love much. And video. that video is also like anachronistic as hell because it's like he's on like a Ducati, <laughs> but then she's in the Victorian era. Yeah. Like it defies time. It defies time. It defies time. It's, it's wild. But I gotta say, there. the pervasive, like 
power that Oops, I Did It Again has resonates to this day because, you know, we talked about a music video called uh, Kiss Me More by Doja Cat and SZA. It was covered on the podcast. And to me, it feels like the remake of the Oops, I Did It Again music video. Yeah. You got the astronaut. You got the Martian. Like, it's very similar. Mythic, beautiful women. And I saw, yeah, yeah, as, as I was watching this, I was like, oh, my God, there's a lot of Kiss Me More that, you know, was influenced by this music video. And yeah. I love it. And I love it. I live. And I, I live. live. Well, bitch, we can't talk. Look, we love this video, but we have to. We have watch to move on. We have to move on. Okay. What's next? Aussie? Okay, I think it's my turn. So you know, right. <laughs> I'm gonna. Uh, okay. Every time she laughs like this, it's because she's up to some bullshit. Chaos. Chaos is about to ensue. I can it's feel not, it. It's not. It's not. Okay. This. I love this video so. Okay, no, it's chaos, clearly. Clearly. Okay, no, 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 no. We have to. Oh, my God, wait. Oscar, shut the fuck up. This is crazy. This is really crazy. Why? Why is it crazy? Tim told me yesterday. I literally said to Mano yesterday, I won't say out loud what it is. I won't give the reveal, but I said the other video I'm thinking about. No, not my pick. Mono, did I not say this exact thing? Yeah, I swear to God. And I was like, oh, yeah, you have a really funny story about it because you, you're you like, I could lip sync to this. You've done a lip sync of it. It's funny and good. Yes, you said this to me yesterday. This is shocking me to my core, okay? Wait, no, because I'm yes. shook because I was like, they're going to hate me for this. But I really, no. really have to pay homage to Reba McIntyre fancy music video. This shit slaps so fucking hard. And Tim, and they, you they agree destroyed with me the as lip well. sync. Well, that's why like Tim was so, so mad. Deep. Okay, so speak I, the, on it. Why? Okay, the first time you and I ever interacted was on a um, a secret Facebook group for Drag Race fans, and you asked the group, "What music video is your drag aesthetic?" And I said, "Fancy" by Reba McIntyre. It is the <laughs> perfect and best storytelling song ever written. Absolutely, and that's why. Mm-hmm. Period. It gives you that beginning, wow. middle, and end. and and. And you're 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 oh, over Jolene or something like that. Yeah, Jolene over... is, is wonderful, but you know what's happening in Jolene from the first like Absolutely. six lines. In Fancy, okay. you are you are so like on the edge of your seat. It's Fancy is a movie in a song. Mm, love it. Yeah. Right. And, and it's what is so that? It's, it's a music so video. It writes itself. Fancy is literally the treatment of the music video that we're able to see. And it is just Reba just gives it to you. I mean, does Reba McIntyre not deliver every single time? The answer is she does. She delivers every single time. And you're seeing the star. best of the best in this music video. She gives it her all. She is acting another another star and another person another who's star. acting boots the house down Absolutely. in this music video. Absolutely. I can't wait. I haven't seen this music video. And I think it's You've essential to... Oh, God, Mono, shut the fuck up. You're about to... I haven't seen it. I know the it's song. It's so iconic. Also, I think we need a little more country representation on the podcast. And That's to true. me, this is the, it's the... It's the country music video. For me? Okay. It's the only one. I would agree matters. with that. I would wow. So without further okay. ado, here we go. We Reba should do a country McIntyre's... week. Okay. Reba McIntyre, we should do a country, maybe. I mean, I don't know if I can pick three like country week. music videos that I love. <laughs> I could pick one. Okay, well, I'm going to have to do okay. some research. This is mine. Okay. Okay, here we go. Reba McIntyre's Fancy in three, two, one. Fancy. Oh, okay. I, 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 Opening. I just, and a fucking oh, skit right away. Yes. Does it not play to... Oof. Bad. It's some kind of weather we're having any fans. Look at her. Look at her in full <laughs> drag. Wow. The sunglasses, that black coat. I mean, fur baby. You ain't you ain't gonna tell me that's fake fur. Fur baby. Look at and her. Oh, oh, she's driving by. Oh, she's driving by her old house. 91. <gasps> Fancy. <laughs> Wait, why is she such a good actress? She's unbelievable. Not to interrupt the video, but famously, people on Broad- Broadway people always say they should re reinst- they should instate a Tony Award replacement Tony because she replaced Whoa. Bernadette Peters in Annie Get Your Gun and Shut she was famously up. really <laughs> it's the- she was better than Bernadette Peters. Reba is Whoa. great. Thing. Tim Murray, what are you serious? I'm how serious. close is she to egotting? She hasn't egotted yet. 
But she could, she right? She must be close. She, must she could be close. close. Yeah, she, she's got she what it takes. She, she's got what it takes. Her, she probably just needs the fucking Oscar. So funny on her TV show. Yeah, I know. Oh. I mean, she's oh. she was in fucking spoiler alert. She's in fucking hilarious part of Barb and Star. Okay, now the song is starting. Oh, she's going into her old house. Wow. The, the lighting, it's just it so dramatic. Oh, it's so dramatic. Yes. <laughs> I mean, and this is, it is a story, which is why obviously, this is absolutely. A story. absolutely, the girls on Drag Race could not pull it off because they just, oh God, that, one. that was Oof, a really, that was, that was horrible. It was really horrible. So horrible that I had to redo it and and post my own version because this is a good. It's good a great song. song. That it's video you posted song. is good actually song. good. I didn't get it could be a good drag, a good sync song until I saw you do it, Tim. It to me, this is up there with like natural woman. Like this is mm. like you just gotta do the song. You just gotta do the story of this. Yeah. I think it requires um, knowing the lyrics of the song. Yeah. Yeah, that helps, I think. <laughs> Look at her doing her daughter's makeup. Ooh, like you're saying, God, she is so glamorous. Her giant Tim, Chinese I would love earring. to see you one Halloween as Reba McIntyre in the fancy music video. Oh my God. That, it would be so easy and so beautiful. It would be iconic. Would and be. I would be curious to know if people know what the reference is. Right. Oh my God, another locket reference. That's two for two locket references. Yeah. Necklaces. Oh, <laughs> oh yeah. Necklace. Down. Oops. I did it again. Oh, has a necklace. Wow. Reba. Locket. Francie has a necklace. Mono. Also, the pain Sorry. in Reba's face. She is just like, and again, engaging, just standing there. Yeah. So Fancy is. It's getting fresh. She's. They're telling her to stay, and she's like, "No, I'm gonna go do my own thing." No, no. It's, it's extremely problematic. It's it's dark. Her mom can't afford to feed her or the baby, so she's like, the only thing you can do is go be a prostitute. Here, go off with this man. Wow, I missed that. <laughs> it's dark. It's really dark. And the whole song is about Reba being like, don't judge my mom. She did what she had to do. Yes. It's, it's a unique point of view. <laughs> Ooh, what a story. Okay. The feeling is there. The emotion is there. I was I mean, going to be a lady someday, though I didn't know when or how. And this this is a change in the song. I might have been born just yes. plain white trash, but fancy was in my name. Oh! Poetry. Yeah, this you song is dark-sided as fuck. I mean... It's really dark-sided. But it's about a woman who is like, I was dealt a horrible, mm -hmm. forced into trauma yeah. in my life. And this is how I decided to take the power back for myself. Mm -hmm. It's so fierce. That's... These are all doing the, it. These are all the men I did it with. The only problem I have with this song, this music video, which I wanted to change it's... up for my lip sync, is I think we should see it. Right see now, the men? Uh -huh. Not the men, but we should see the glow up of her in these mansions. Making these men uh, right. out to her now that she is, she went from prostitute to rich ass starlet. Mm -hmm. I want to see her yes. walking down Rodeo Drive now. I want to see. I don't just want to. You know what I mean? It's. it's I want to know. I want to know more about how she invested her money. Right. <laughs> Crypto. I mean, Real or KFC, KFC franchises. Oh shit! I don't know. She's looking at the mama's grave. Whoa. Okay. Mom's wow, they really now. were buried on site, I guess. Buried on site, baby. <laughs> wow. Who's the okay, other gravestone mama. for? It's okay, Mama. I understand. Damn. Wow. I mean, you could look That's at it as like dark. the problematic side of it, or you could look at it as someone who deals with grief in her own way. Like, mom, I mean, that's mama is what dead, we all do. And now she's, this is how she's going to handle her grief is by forgiving her mother. Bye, mama. That's what we all do. Right? Quite frankly. And she made a home for runaways. Home for runaways. Fancy, Fancy Ray, Ray Baker. 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 Wow. wow. To thine own self be true. And she was always, what? 
Fancy. Fancy. Wow, okay. that's good. You know, we're getting a full wow. on, this was a full on movie, girl. I hope you, that was, you had that popcorn, because was... That, was, that shit was a film, a feature freaking film. So Tim, let me ask you, what is this? I mean, it's pretty self-explanatory, but what is this video about? What's going on in this music video? This video is about a country, country girl who's mom is so poor and just had a new baby that she literally cannot afford to feed her they are going to die if she stays there and she basically whores her out to a a man to it and she's she's a young girl is super problematic but she she says go be a prostitute and fancy takes the really shitty thing she got in life and she turns it into a, a, a rich, rich life for herself. And then she goes back and looks back on her life and Work. says, you know what? Work. I'm going to choose to focus on the good that I have and forgive my mama. See, and that's wow, big. That's deep. And that's big. Because she could have she could have gone back home and burned the house down. She could have. But, but she this, said, I'm too rich for that. This is about that. a survivor. Okay. Yeah. This is, about, mm -hmm. uh, this is about a superhero. Reba is a superhero. Absolutely. It's, I mean, this feels like therapy right now because this is like an ongoing conversation I feel like all of us have with our parents, no matter who you are, of like, because, you know, you're like, we love, we love our families, but we're also like, but they traumatized me. And it's like weird that as children, no matter who you are, you find ways to recontextualize the trauma. I'm not saying it's a bad thing. It's just part of the human condition. Well, I think and also on top of that, it's like, well, do I decide to be petty? Or do yeah. I decide to be fancy? <laughs> do you know what I mean? Because you can have yeah. two names, you know. You could decide to be petty. If you were born petty, you're going to stay petty. But not That's Reba. True. Not Miss Reba. She decided. She was like, you know, my yeah. namesake is fancy. I'm going to keep it fancy. <laughs> fancy is also such a funny... <laughs> like, I, I'm just saying it's just such a... It's a funny name, but it's also a very funny... Oh, like... It's clearly on purpose, but it's a funny oversimplification <laughs> of this story. You know what I mean? Like, it's not like... What's the opposite of poor? It, Fancy. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> which I will right. say, this is a, it's a little Republican propaganda, which we don't love. <laughs> It's a little like fancy Ray Baker is clearly like walking around town going, well, I had horrible trauma in my life and I figured it out for myself. So right, <laughs> why should right, I pay taxes? Right. <laughs> you know what I mean? It's like, it's, uh, there are parts of it that are definitely not great, but uh -huh. you know, it's still a good song. <laughs> She's just spoken like a true yeah. capitalist. You know, she realized her circumstances and was like, okay, I need to rise to the top. You know what I mean? I need to figure this shit out, you know? And also, and I think it's, like, yeah. great idealism and escapism, but also, like, trauma pretty much doesn't work this way. <laughs> no. So, yeah. like, oh, God, no. You know, Her mom but... sold her to become a <laughs> prostitute. <laughs> it's very clearly written by someone who this did not happen to them. <laughs> <laughs> like, what in the fantasy? This is some kind of... You know what it is? It's an American fairy tale. That's what fancy is. Exactly. It's oh, very that. It's very Cinderella. Fancy goes west. Okay. I see that for us. Fancy I goes mean, west. <laughs> yeah. Uh, okay, Mana, what's the Lee moment for you? It is, um, it's, it's, I, mean, I want to say Reba's acting, but you know, I'm, I'm just going to say how small she plays it at the beginning. I'm like, Reba, you better fucking mm -hmm. work. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. You better give me levels. You better give yourself room to go somewhere, you bitch. <laughs> you you get it. What about you, Tim? What's the lay you for you? It's fancy. Yeah! <laughs> <laughs> it's the mom, the ghost of the mom calling out her name before the song starts. <laughs> yes. Fuck. To me, it's the gently opening the, the curtain. To look out the window. It's like, bitch, you just oh. came from there. What you doing looking out the window? <laughs> She's remembering what it was like to stand there and it's be poor so and look out that window. Funny. To me, that's camp. That's the gayest moment that in that is, music video. You're so the right. The gentle <laughs> curtain. <laughs> also, it's the sheerest curtain in the world. You can, <laughs> you can see through it. You can see through it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You can see through it. Oh, also, a theme for both videos we've had, not only necklaces, fucking star quality. Like star quality mm -hmm. acting. Mm -hmm. Acting. Mm -hmm. But don't don't get me wrong, like Celine is my girl, I live and die for her. You mm -hmm. put Celine Dion in one of these two videos we've watched, you're falling asleep. It's not happening. Even, she's not delivering. I mean, that's true. We love her, but she's not delivering. That's true. Even like it and people can deliver, like Lady Gaga delivers, but 
Lady Gaga doesn't look at a camera and you're like, what's happening behind her eyes? It's the creativity. Uh-huh. Both these videos are simple. I hate that you're right. These videos I are don't... simple. They are just about women who are able to just look at the camera and you're like, what is, uh-huh. what am I looking at? I love that you called Oops, I, I did it again simple. <laughs> Very simple idea. It's just about Mars, baby. It's, about it's just about Mars. On and Mars. go, go, boys. Go, go, boys, whose main job is pulling silver levers. <laughs> like, what are we doing? Pull the lever. Doesn't matter. Yeah. Just keep it going. There's a really cute moment in the making the video where one of her dancers goes up to Britney and she's like, Did you see that guy? He's like so hot. And Britney's like, I know. She's like, Holy crap, he's so hot. It's like, she's clearly just like, I'm, I'm a woman coming of age and I want him to pull my lever. Ooh, Girl. Pull the lever, Crunk. Get. <laughs> right lever. Mm. Right lever, Crunk. <laughs> um, All right, Mono, it's your turn. Yes. What you got for us? What music video do you got in store for us? I was. I have to say, I was. I love. First of all, I have. I. I love this artist. I guess artist is an interesting word. Oh, but boy. I love this artist. I love this album. I love. I was inspired directly though by Tim, who was talking about what's he gonna watch, what's he gonna watch, and I saw him post a clip of this on the Instagram last night, and I said, "Oh, that needs to be watched." Okay, because Tim, it's this probably is very, my favorite. You're bringing a lot of our like. I don't know. There's you're the nexus of our. This is very our creativity ought. today, bitch. Oh, yes, I you are. That. I love that. I love it. Bitch, we're we're in sync. We're really in sync because I love this. I you know I love a housey EDM moment, oh, and God. this is also like that pop culture mixture combination of pop e house. I live for it. It's Jennifer Lopez waiting for tonight. Oh my! Wait, stop! Whoa, 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 whoa! Because I was debating between what? fancy and waiting for tonight. You're a liar! You, you stop I swear, it! Right I now. swear to fucking God, yo! You're a liar! I'm, I'm not kidding. I will literally hit the back button on my browser, and it will be <laughs> Jennifer Lopez is waiting for tonight. Wow! What an yeah. absolute gag! Again. Because no, seriously, it's right here. It's right here. It's on my. It's Maybe this isn't okay. as crazy as okay. we're thinking. Maybe we just all have like fabulous music video taste and we that know each too. other pretty well and we know like each other's because this, that's why I posted on my Instagram story last night because this was like in my top five of ones that I would want to do. Yeah. I also, believe this that. was the second making the video after this. Oops, I did it again came out. Right. Waiting for tonight came Shut out up. after. Well, the, the reason, wow. you know, the reason why I was going to nominate it was because it's a new year themed music video. Right. <gasps> There's the whole. Yes. It's very Y2K. It's, it's very like Y2K. Very, it's Y2K, very. and we didn't die. Wow. We thrived. Also, Girl. not yeah. to not to spoil before we even watch it, but our third star. You put Jennifer Lopez in any. You put Jennifer Lopez in the "It's All Coming Back to Me Now" video, and she suddenly it yeah. is a different thing. Yeah, this is true. a woman who can just. She walks in the room, and you're like, "Whoa, who is that?" Yeah. Yes. Yes. I agree. Wow. And, okay, we'll talk about this more, but don't. Le- okay, let's let's watch it. Let's watch it. Three, two, one, play. <gasps> right in. Oh, play. That's another Jennifer. Jungles. Song. Oh God. Oh. Remember play. <laughs> I love play. Also, look uh, at this. Wait woman. a this second. Hold on. About. Whoa, whoa. Slow down. Slow down. Because I'm getting. You know what I'm getting vibes of? What? Is um. Slave for you, Britney Spears. I knew you were going to say that. I knew you were going to say that. Oh, it's very that. I was going to say it as you were saying it. Yes. Very mystical future city. Like neo future forest world. But here's what I will say. This is a better music video because when you think of Slave for You, you think Snake. When you think Waiting for Tonight, you think Green Lasers. You think of this music video. (laughs) Green Lasers and the Snakes. Um, You do think Green Lasers. Waiting for Tonight, absolutely. Look at that beat. Look the at beat hi, is bitch. so put good. down, put down the highlighter, bitch. Wait, you okay. The highlighter, pheromone. <laughs> pheromone would be Did jealous you know of this highlighter. Is a she would. Cover? What? This song is what? a cover. No, it's not. It is. It's not. She doesn't sing. Of the like song what right a now. '70s disco song. No, what, what is like it? the song was released like two years before this song. What? Yep. Man. I mean, uh, look, let's be real. Jennifer Lopez is known for being sketchy boots about how she (laughs) procures her songs. Period. (laughs) And you're just going to leave it at that. (laughs) Period. But. Also. Sorry, I interrupted you. What were you going to say? You go. 
I can't believe this. She's one of the few people in the world who was a movie star first and yeah. then became a true pop star. Yeah. Yes. She was and and we all laughed. Stays we relevant. all laughed at her. We all laughed at her. We, we said, all laughed. No, you can't do it. I yeah. remember people thinking like she's too old at the time. Yeah. Honey. Yes. She's spitting all their faces. And she's still. You know what she's still doing? I Still mean, we it. all loved If You Had My Love, which I probably have to also watch on this pod because <laughs> that was a moment. That music video is deeply bad, but it's so, <laughs> it's so a product it's, of its time. It's like she was the first cam girl in that video. Yes. Yes. It was always, always number eight on TRL. <laughs> yes. like never, it never got higher than that. Yes. But this Jennifer, video, I don't love it when the, when the queens... Um, pick a color like when Raja O'Hara oh. is always purple but I uh -huh. love that Jennifer Lopez was like I wore that green, green. iconic dress green's I'm my color yes. green. I'm gonna stay green green's my color stay green and someone stoned her down oh my I god look at this. Stones. that is gorgeous it's really stun the makeup is I mean, so 2000 it is it's very um, great way. oh my god rubbing Not purple this man with on the your Chinese face letters on his <laughs> Not the oh, characters no. on the arm and I will say this video is relying on her body and her beauty because it's not a lot of choreo at all. It's just like moving yeah, in front of a camera. Salsa. Oh, there's a time. Oh, there's a timer. But that's I, uh, what I'm saying. When you have a star like this, you don't have to do that much. Uh, oh, that's we're true. Oh, we're uh oh, talking. this is a very squid game. This <laughs> countdown <laughs> clock. Squid game. <laughs> it is. What? That is too big. Oh, oh, and then 2000. 2000. <gasps> Oh, Y2K, oh, Y2K, Y2K, Y2K. Everyone's scared. Yeah, everyone's like, are we all about to die? <laughs> that is a literal moment they inserted. That was they very inserted... like Batman Return. No, a Batman and yes! Robin. Yes, yes, forever. Vibes. Or Batman yeah, forever, it's very Riddler. Sorry, Riddler. Yes. Okay, now she's oh dancing over people. She's literally floating in the sky. Show uh, off my hot body. I'm in the water now, baby. I'm wow. getting wet. Oh. I mean, the party, the vibes, the hundreds of people. Oh, they took star. a they took a catamaran to this damn party. They really. I wow. get, my question, my big question is, where the fuck is this party at? I mean, it feels very Rio, mm. very but like very Saint Tropez girl, in the Amazon jungle. They had to take a little pontoon boat over to where this party was. <laughs> yeah. I don't know. It's wherever they know. filmed Anaconda starring Jennifer Lopez. Fuck. <laughs> 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 oh, no. Oh, my God. Story, in the sixth grade, we all got to do, a, a for music class, we had to do a report on a musician and an artist. Most people did, like, The Beatles or Madonna or people who had, like, several albums. Jennifer Lopez only had If You Had My Love out, and I did my report no. on Jennifer See, you knew, you knew. Lopez. You I love this. You know. I knew it was going to go down like this. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. You knew. Well, this is why, Oscar, we need you to tell us what this music video is truly about. What Simple. is it about? The year what? is 1999 slash 2000. Y2K is a very real thing. Uh, Jennifer Lopez and her very ethnically ambiguous friends are all hanging <laughs> out at, at the Hotel Rio. And they're like, okay, we heard of the hottest party of the year. It's in the middle of the forest, in the middle of the jungle. It's hosted by a fucking snake. We need to go. <laughs> so they go, they find, they get their flashlights because it's pitch fucking black. Yeah. They go, there's <laughs> they, hundreds of people And they misused there. the flashlight, by the way. Yeah. They, they yeah. focus it on of... Jennifer's face. <laughs> they decide to do a TikTok on their river ride. <laughs> uh, and then they're there and then they count down to the new, to the new millennium, the new, new mm -hmm. willennium, if you will. Oh, uh -huh. we, and we oh, will. Oh, God. And we will you. and we shall. Absolutely. We shall. Girl. Uh -huh. What is the layout for in this music video, Tim Murray? What the hell? What's the iconic moment here? Green lasers, baby. Yeah. <laughs> you know what? Ditto for me. It's the same. Oh, God. You know, I'm going to say mug. It's that J-Lo mug. The mug. Ooh, the stoned yeah. mug, too, is good. The stone, stone mug, mug is a gag. Mm -hmm. Also, remember the whole rumor that like lasers could blind you? 
we're like people had like laser pointers when we were kids. Yes, oh, they were banned. Right. In this music video, there's like in the making the video there, I believe there's a whole moment where she's like, "A laser got in my eye! A laser got in my eye!" and everyone panics. <laughs> A laser got in your a eye. Laser. In my eye. A laser got in my eye. God damn it. Yeah. Wow. Okay. It we did there it. I mean I have to show you th- th- those oh. watching at home on oh, YouTube. This wow. is this my treat. report on Jennifer Lopez. I still have okay, the billboard. What you're gonna have to do what you're gonna have to do is text that to me and then I'll put it on the IG. Yeah, oh, yeah, yeah. That's perfect. true. That's perfect. That's good. Amazing. Oh my god. Amazing. 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 Okay, we have three music videos. We got Jennifer Lopez is waiting for tonight. Britney Spears. Oops, I did it again. And Reba McIntyre's fancy mono Agapian. Make a case as to why you think Jennifer Lopez is waiting for tonight should beat out the other two iconic music videos and make it to the top 100 music videos list. Look, Jennifer Lopez is a a, a multimedia superstar. She can do movies, TV. I mean, she can dance. Hello in living color. She can do everything. This music video is the moment where she not only celebrated the millennium, she said, I'm going to have a career for uh, 20, 21 more years. And I'm going to see you at the presidential inauguration in 2021, bitch. Um, I love her. I love, if if you haven't seen second act, it's one of the (laughs) many amazing (laughs) JLo films. What is this, a plug it's for one that's second ignored. <laughs> It's so dumb. People don't talk about this one. We talk about Made in Manhattan and all the other gags. But anyway, I love J-Lo. I love this. The song is fantastic. You cannot move your booty tooch when you hear. Come on. You it's can't bomb, not, not move your booty tooch when Absolutely. you hear the song. Vote for it. Oscar, yes. why the fuck should people vote? For Reba McIntyre. Listen, we need a little fancy. bit. We need a little bit more country representation in the podcast. And to me, this is the best country music video. I would be hard pressed to find another one that comes to re- recent memory. Reba McIntyre is a true what icon, and mm. Fancy is showcasing Reba McIntyre at her best. She's done. She's a queen of music videos. I think she's like a country artist that makes music videos a thing and Mm. but reba uh uh, fancy really really encapsulates the best parts of reba's legacy and Mm. it's got skits which i love it's got a storyline which i love it's got amazing acting it's got dramatics and it's a very very gay i love it i love it i love it it should make it to the (laughs) top 100 music videos tim okay why should britney spears oops i did it again beat out the other two music videos to in a spot for the top 100 music videos list because it's a better music video. Oops. Oh, this oh, she music came. video. Okay, she came to play. Okay, three hundred and fifty-two <laughs> million views on YouTube. Wow, and the, and the viewers okay. don't lie. It's iconic, and not to wow. shade my sisters, but the reason that Oops I Did It Again <laughs> should be the next Drag Race superstar <laughs> is because <laughs> Reba and Jennifer Lopez are amazing multi talents. They're both great actresses. They both have like they're moguls in their own way. Britney Spears is a music video star. This is what she does. And you are watching her in her element at the top of her game, dancing, giving you iconic looks. If this, all three of these music videos came on at a bar, when Fancy came on, you'd be like, oh my God, I love this storytelling. Jennifer Lopez come in and go, oh my God, I remember this, the whole Y2K. If Oops, I Did It Again comes on, everybody goes, <gasps> and starts dancing (laughs) while watching. It's a fantastic song, and the music video is exactly what you think of when you think of this song. It's perfect. You make a good case. You make a good case, too. Wow, I mean, my God. She really, the claws were fucking out. Did you feel scratched, Mono? Because I... (laughs) My God. A little scratched in the face. I was just, like, really happy to be in the top three with my sisters, and I, like, didn't know you were going to go that way with it, but work. Okay, Ellie Diamond. Well... (laughs) (laughs) Uh, okay gag that's it hey you know that's it go vote on our instagram it is the fundamental most fun important and easy to do part of this whole thing we want democracy to win and you gotta go to the instagram which is what oscar listen all you gotta do is go on podcast kill the video star on instagram and pick for your favorite music video Mm -hmm. on on the trio and also, while you're there, while you're on Instagram, Tim, where can people follow you? Oh, I want that. Yeah, 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 yeah. You can follow me at tmurray06. 
on all Ooh. social platforms, except Twitter, because I was kicked off. But everywhere else. What? Can... How? The drama. I posted a meme of um, gay bartenders talking shit on their coworkers, and then a clip from Sound of Music, and Sony came for me, and they said, this is copyright, mama. And I'm suspended permanently. <laughs> Think so, okay. Sony Music. If you're listening, um, it's okay, baby. I'm on TikTok now. I'm on Instagram. Twitter sucks. I have other places to be. I don't need. Gag. I don't need strangers Dumb. replying to me that I'm not funny. Thank you so uh. much. <laughs> 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 this Twitter was for a while. <laughs> yep. Gag. Yep. Gag. 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 Oh my God, Tim. Thank wow. you so much for being a guest on Podcast Kill the Video Star. This is a fucking battle. Yes. This, this is a yes. real battle. Thank you for having me, boys. This has been really fun. Yes. Yes. And uh, oh, you know, we hate what to end the episode on such a sad. Can we just talk really about it after? Note. Can we talk about it after Oscar? No, no, no. We got to talk about it right Why? now. Tim, did you hear the news? What? Ugh, we killed MTV. Mana, we'll say it at the same time. We'll say we'll say it at the same time. Ready? One, two, three. We killed we MTV. Killed MTV. <laughs> oh no! Honestly, <laughs> she had a comment. <laughs> she had it coming. She had it coming. <laughs> she had That's it coming. for you. That's for you. <laughs>